I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. By nature, I'm curious. Science is serious. I wanna learn and study. Cause life is so mysterious. First step, state of the art. Reading, searching, summarizing strictness. Rigor and precision. I can't afford to make a mistake. I develop a strong methodology. Kuzus and Pola, Nagi Ming Jason Nagin, Nagi Zomi Lord Nenang, Jean Palak Sojila. So I'm coming to the end of my first week at the lab. Um, one of the biggest problems that, that we're facing is components. It's really tricky to get stuff out. There are all sorts of bureaucratic processes, uh, import taxes and regulations and stuff that make it incredibly difficult for us to get hold of components out. Um, so there are two projects that I'm going to concentrate on when I'm here. One is a farm bot, a CNC farming robot um, for automation of farming. And the second is a manufacturing system that allows people to make shoes from recycled plastic. Because of the delay in getting components, I'm going to do some smaller projects to help orientate myself around the lab. So Karma, one of the managers at the lab, has kindly given me a bike. Um, but I don't have a helmet or lights, so the first project that I decided to do was make my own helmet and lights. I thought that if the lights were powered by the kinetic energy generated by the ride of the bike, then it meant that no batteries were required. This reduces waste and is better for the environment. It also makes the bike safer to ride as you can never be caught mid-journey without any light. I started by finding a stepper motor which would act as a generator. Using Rhino, I modelled two brackets, one to hold the stepper motor and one to house a small rectifier. A rectifier is basically a small circuit that contains a series of diodes which you connect to each wire coming from the motor. A rectifier is required because the current coming from each wire is alternating. The purpose of the rectifier is to convert it from AC to DC which is required to power the lights. The lid of the enclosure was flat so I used the laser cutter instead of the 3D printer just to save some time. I also laser cut a small wheel which would connect the axle of the motor to the tyre. Before attaching it permanently, we tested the motor with a multimeter and a power drill to ensure it gave us sufficient voltage to power the lights. Then again using Rhino, I made a model. I imported the model into a program called 123D Make, which lets you slice it into interlocking sections so that it can be laser cut or CNC cut. The sections are automatically numbered so that they can be easily assembled. Next, I 3D printed a model of a buckle which I found on Thingiverse. Whilst waiting for the buckle to print, I laser cut some foam inserts to make the helmet more comfortable.
<laughs> this weekend was my birthday. The team organised a party for me. We went to a really nice restaurant at the top of a hill. We had a bonfire, played guitar and sang some local songs and ate loads of food. <laughs> <laughs> I was gifted my own Fab Lab t-shirt which the team screen printed for me at the lab. Everyone found out that I really enjoy cooking and the only meal that I'd been able to prepare since arriving was ramen, so they bought me an induction plate which means I can be a bit more adventurous with my meals. <laughs> <laughs> this week I was introduced to Rakesh, a local entrepreneur, engineer and recycling specialist. Rakesh is one of the most well-known names in Bhutan when it comes to plastic recycling. He's the guy behind a project called The Green Road, which has been resurfacing roads with recycled plastic. He kindly invited me to the wedding of one of his close friends as an opportunity for us to get to know each other before working together. Rakesh has already established a strong plastic recycling infrastructure which he has kindly given us access to. The first project we're going to work on together is a sheep press. It's important that this is the first project we do as it will enable us to produce recycled components for any of our future projects. 